like a weird way of somehow doing this recording, but hopefully this is a good first commentary. So on our first game, we're actually going to be playing Joust. I'm just playing with some friends. Um, I decided, I was thinking that Nox would be good because we have the Ymir and obviously Ymir and Nox sounds like a really good combination. However, I decided to go with Anubis and yeah, it was, it was, it was a good game. So what I will be planning on doing in future videos is uh, mainly going to be doing uh, some ranked duel. I think right now I'm ranked uh, Diamond 2. So I'm pretty close to Masters, but not not exactly there just yet, and uh, I'll go into more about that in a little bit, because right now I'm having a little bit of trouble with um, the editing and everything of that sort. So that's that's what we're going to be focused on right now. But um, yeah, this is just a fun little gameplay, good gameplay, sorry, for, um, can't even talk, with me just playing some casual gel. I am going to be playing some more rank gel sooner or later. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to end up recording that, but maybe. We'll see how it goes. Um, I was debating on buying this Anubis Furious emote. I was trying to look it up on YouTube to see if I could find it, like what it actually looks like. I'm not even sure still, but I don't know. It's I thought it would be pretty cool. So we're going up against a Hercules, Neath, and Zong Kui. I believe that's how you say it. If not, then I apologize because <laughs> I obviously don't know how to pronounce things very well. But I was thinking about making a Smurf account for a uh, duel just in case I wanted to play like those lower tier gods. I'm not sure if you guys would be interested in that or not because, you know, not a lot of people, um, I don't know. I don't think a lot of people like seeing lower tier gods to be honest. Personally, I don't mind playing the top tier gods. It just, they're just fun to me. I was thinking I was gonna go um, start out stacking, right? Because I, I, I didn't know. I wanted to kind of go for more of a late game build, but then I was like, eh, I want to kind of go early game, see what I can do. So I ended up going for uh, can't remember the name of it, but it gives you 60 power and 8% life still, which is really good for the start. To the start. And this is where we're obviously just joking around. Which is... <laughs> I'm gonna turn out the volume so that way I can at least hear it. I don't know if it's in the background or not. Never mind. We're not gonna turn out the volume. Anyway, we just, we just mess around with each other. I believe right... I said it a little wrong. This is where uh, my Ymir takes my poop off. And then they just body block me for three seconds. I'm not sure why they just decided to stand still. Um, so I do know these guys in real life. I'm not gonna give out their names just because I don't know. I don't, I'm not gonna do that right now. I was telling Noah to go ahead and freeze them because I mean they're right there. It would have been a perfect time. I don't even think we got anything out of that, which was unfortunate. But. <laughs> oh my goodness, um, that's Protect, he just pretty much killed himself for the first blood, but I guess that's worth, he said it was worth it, so... I, w I am gonna hopefully be able to figure out how to record the voices and everything like that, because I know right now, um, I'm not exactly sure how to do that, like, I I did see one where you would need, um, you need two accounts and you have like your secondary account. I was trying that, but I think what I'm gonna have to end up doing is just getting like a separate, like a few cheap cords just to go ahead and get those and pay like, I don't know how much money it costs. It, it, it'll be worth it. But yeah, the Anubis plus Yamiya combo worked out great in this game. Um, I'm not sure how Shiba Monkey really goes into this, but he ended up doing really good too, so. That worked out well. But I'm actually really excited to start doing the, um, the ranked duel. I think that's actually going to be really fun. I do take duel, like, a little bit ser like too seriously, probably, because, I don't know, I feel like I get a little nervous whenever I play it. I don't know about you guys, but that's just me. 
As you can see, I just jumped uh, the cracks. I'm not sure why I do that much at all, but I do it, so. There's my poor Shibalanke. I thought for sure he was dead, but he somehow didn't escape. It goes all the way across the entire map, so. So I think, yeah, look at, this was literally the most perfect play I've ever seen. Like, that was probably the best freeze. That literally made it so perfect. However, he does mess it up right here with the beautiful wall to block me off. But that was a great start to the game. And we, and we got a lot of damage on the tower. So, starting out pretty good. I was really excited that the early game actually came out because if I didn't go late game, I don't think we were really going to have much to go against. Because Zonkwe, if we go with Gem of Isolation, we're really not going to be able to even move. So this is just a quick little commentary. I figured I might as well go ahead and get used to it. I've never done a commentary before, so hopefully this isn't one. This isn't too bad. Um, I plan on doing a lot more commentaries in the future. Um, and obviously I'm not, you know, that great at Smite. So if you guys do have tips and other things that like, you think would help my channel, I'd really appreciate it. I was also thinking about doing some other content, but I'm not really sure about what I'm actually going to do. It's just, I don't need, so I'm actually in a party with these guys, and for some reason I like to use like the game chat as well, and hopefully when I get the party chat going, you guys will see that like, they'll always get mad at me for um, talking like in the game when I don't actually have to, but we will see. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully we can get that resolved soon. And there goes the Shibalanke surviving with 2 HP once again. Yeah, I think Anubis in Joust, like Anubis probably isn't the best. Now, like if you know how to use them and you hit everything, like I got really lucky there. As you can see at the very end, I was like, oh, well, I'm probably not going to get him. But I ended up getting really lucky. I think I, yeah, <laughs> alright, so I thought the tower for sure was going to kill me, right? And so that's why I kind of just stood there, like, oh, oh, well. And then I didn't even realize, but the hurt was right there, and the tower didn't even shoot me, so I was like, oh, dang it. So the hurt just threw his ultimate on me and got me so easily. I was a little mad, because, like, I, I really thought that the tower for sure was going to kill me. Literally walked right into the hurt cult. But I had a good lead, so it, it didn't really matter. I'm well, already way above them, and I was about to say levels, but not really, because... Well, I guess so, yeah, we're above them in levels, and a, a crap ton in gold. I'm glad I could help my team out with the assist as well. Really, all I was uh, doing was just trying to get to the late game. But it turned out to be a lot better than expected. This is where Harold was talking about Ymir could land a free, like right here. He said he had it like in like two seconds. I don't even know if I'm going to do anything with these guys. Oh, this is. Yeah, I remember this part. So, Nathan. Um, not Nathan, but like Let's give me one second. So we're gonna do Alright, there we go. So sorry about that guys, there was a little bit of glitch right there. I'm not really too sure what happened. I guess my recording software just decided to stop to stop working. Call oh, Jacob. Oh well. Nothing you can do about that. We're about, um, I'm not sure how long this game actually goes, and I do plan on doing ranked jousts more, more often, but mainly on my, uh, mainly on my Smurf account, and the main reason I'm going to do that is because, really, I don't know, like, I, I don't really want to do it on my main for some reason. So I, oh man, this was this was literally the most beautiful play I've ever seen. Like that just it really like just fell into my hands, and my teammates were getting mad at me because um, 
I kind of like took every kill. <laughs> but, oh well. And so the reason I was actually taking this tower, and just in case you guys are thinking like, uh, knew this isn't a tank or whatever, mainly is because I have life still, and I was thinking, uh, we might as well go ahead and get it while, there's, while they're dead. Um, I was actually gonna go book right here, but then I was like, no, I don't wanna do that because I wanted to try and snowball. So I was thinking, okay, I'll get Gem of Isolation, right? So that's the reason I went Gem. Probably better to go book. Um, a lot of people don't like double stacking, but I think double stacking is good. And, uh, also, something I did mind um, The reason I got beads was, just in case you guys don't know, Neath has a root. Um, Zonkwe has a, an incredible slot. Dino not to mention a stun, but the stun's kind of like, not even worth it. But the... Hercules is what I was really afraid of. Hercules is ridiculous, and if he actually manages to dive me into the tower, I really have nothing. I don't have an escape that really helped me in that situation. So, good freeze by Yumi right there. That was, that was pretty crazy. This is where I try and hit the Zonclay, but this is where you can see how Anubis' ult is actually that difficult to hit. Like, it's kind of crazy. Now, Anubis can be really good. A lot of people say Anubis is not, like, top tier or anything. The reason he's not is because he doesn't have an escape. Like, it's so easy to farm him, especially if he gets, like, so far behind. So, what I mean by that is, um, let's say I'm playing Anubis and I'm building stacks. Jacob. Now, sometimes it's probably not the best idea to build stacks because... Then again, that's late game, you know, like, and Anubis doesn't have an escape, so if he starts to dying early game, over and over and over again, he's the, you're literally just letting this, the other team snowball over and over again. But, that's why Anubis, I think it's a risky pick, but if, if you can get him to, like, where you want, like, you can literally just own the game, like, and that's pretty much just what happens here. I got a really great start and with the freezes and everything that you mirror game and pretty much just ended it more. I wanted my teammates to actually help me right here, but I don't even, I guess they were just still fighting, so, but it didn't really matter. I still ended up getting it. So I was thinking about if I should play Anubis in a 1v1. And I was thinking, well, really it would just come down to if I could hit my abilities or not. But then I was thinking, what about gods like, I don't know, Kali? Chang'e is just, it's just too much, you know. Like, I really want to get better at Kali. Like Kali is just so good, that's just ridiculously overpowered. Probably the most overpowered god I've ever seen. I, I was playing Apollo, and I was thinking, okay, Apollo is like a counter to Kali, right? That's, like, that's what I've always heard, at least from. And you know, I watch a few YouTubers as well, like Sexy Rex and some of them. Great, great player. I mean, I just, I didn't even realize, dude, Kali is, I don't know, as, as Apollo, I could not kill that freaking Kali. She literally dove me under my fountain. Of course she ulted, but, yeah, she dove me under the fountain and killed me. And I was, I was like, wow, I'm like, I, I thought that was kind of ridiculous, to be honest, like, that was, probably shouldn't have happened. <laughs> Anyways, um... Hopefully some new uh, smite content will be coming out soon. I know I didn't get a uh, rank duel and stuff out like I'm like I was hoping to, and I'm working on the thumbnails and different things like that. And those are the people I play with. Just in case you guys don't know, if you want to add them, I do play on Xbox One. So if you want to add me, just send me a shoot me a like a message or anything, and I don't mind playing with anyone. So it's all good. Anyways, it's DP Attack here, guys. Hope it's been great. Um, this is my first commentary, so forgive me if I, I don't know, like, sound cringy and everything. Hopefully the quality isn't as bad as what I've been seeing, so that's something. Anyways, guys, for, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate your time. Alright.